Andrew Lloyd Webber's Phantom of the Opera, you are gonna love Love Never Dies. It is the sequel, and it opened yesterday at Shays Buffalo, and the lovely actress who plays Christine is with us, oh. Megan Paterno. Welcome, Megan! Hi! <laughs> what? This has to be a, such a, an incredibly uh, vocally a challenging role for you. Oh, yeah. It's amazing, because he doesn't amazing. write easy stuff, you know? <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. So this picks up about 10 years after the original Phantom story, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And in this one, you're married, you have a child? I do, yeah. yes. I'm 28 in this one. Uh, the year is 1907, and I'm married to Raul, and then I have a son, Gustav, and... That's, and I'm a world famous opera diva. So where we last left Christine, she was 17, just about to embark perhaps on a beautiful career. And indeed it blossomed and, oh. and yeah, she's this international star wow. where we pick up. What a role, look at this production. It, it's as big and, and it, it's as lush as the original. Just oh, it's looking at it. it's stunning. Our yeah. designer Gabriella, the, I remember the first time we saw the set and the costumes, I was, I was pretty amazed. Wow. It's, it's breathtaking. You opened last night, and we hear you open to rave reviews, and the audience just absolutely loved it. <laughs> Isn't that great? I love, it I is. love knowing that. Uh, yeah, it we, was we wonderful. We make great audiences. Oh, here you guys are awesome. Yeah. <laughs> We just love good theater, and just to see this, it's, it's really such a magical experience. You lose yourself going. But you know, Megan, you have a talent that allows you to move fairly from a classical operatic stage um, to Broadway and back. That's amazing. That's that's a wonderful uh, opportunity for you. Oh, it's I, yeah. I think it's it's really quite special to be able to um, use tools and colors from each world and bring them into the other. I mean, I can tell you, truly, to do justice to Andrew's music in this show, I wouldn't be able to without my opera training. Right, truly, yeah. I mean, it's it's such a gorgeous thing, and to put the flavor and colors into it, um, I'm I'm so happy I had have my opera right. background to do it. Do you so. like to go from, you know, back and forth? I mean, are you just as comfortable when you're hitting the stage at the Kennedy Center, you know, come back and do something classically operatic and then join a show like this? Yes, actually, you know, because <clears throat> for me, the biggest thing is I, I love to communicate and I love to be on stage. So whether it's a straight play, an opera, Broadway, I mean, something they all share in common is their very human experiences. Mm -hmm. And I'm the vessel for that particular show to go forth and tell a story and share all of my own experiences, my pain, my happiness, my heartbreak, everything, yeah. and and give it to the audience and then also feed from them. I mean, it's really an exchange and a symbiotic relationship that's really beautiful. Wow. Now, how how long ago did he write this and did you ever get a chance to meet Andrew Lloyd Webber? Oh, yes, Ooh. actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's amazing. So. Um, he, he wrote this uh, quite a bit ago, and then um, it's be, been rewritten and restaged, redesigned. And so actually, um, our cast is premiering this incarnation for the first time ever oh to gosh. the American public. And wow. that's really quite special, I can tell you. And I remember um, shortly after I was cast, I had lunch with Andrew. Oh, and you did? Yeah. Oh my God, you had lunch with Andrew like forever. <laughs> Oh, yeah, wow. and um, and he's first of all, he's one of the nicest people I've ever met, truly, and and he's obviously brilliant. And I am from the opera world, and I don't always have the opportunity to speak to the musical geniuses that wrote the music yeah. I perform. You know, right. I wish I could talk and have lunch, <clears throat> excuse me, with Mozart, sure, <laughs> um, sure, or Verdi or Puccini, mm -hmm. um, but I could with uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber, and so I, I felt more like a schoolgirl because I had all these questions. Yeah. Why did you write the music this way? Why did you choose this? Why did you, do, you know, I mean, it just, I had so many questions, but I could have the answers. And, um, you know, and he said to me, he, he said, and very openly to everybody, how he thinks this is one of the best pieces that he's ever written. No, And really? you know, it is such beautiful music. We're, we're on what, show 250 something? Yeah. And I still love, singing his music every single but day. But Megan, what a compliment to you. He chose you for this <laughs> role. Like, um, he could have had anybody. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, it's it's slightly surreal. Um, it's obviously a huge honor and a, and a large responsibility, you know. I True. mean, Christine Dye, to it, of yeah. course, is she's an iconic role. Mm -hmm. Everybody in the world knows who she is. And, but indeed, to be able to do um, her in this incarnation for the first time ever in the United States as an American, opera singer wow. um, 
really is quite exciting. Oh and, my gosh. and yeah, it's a, it's a great honor. And I don't take it lightly, but it's also so exciting because oh. I'm I'm the first here to do it. Oh so my it's, gosh. It's amazing. <laughs> Let me ask you, and I ask a lot of the actors who co who visit our show, do you have a favorite part of the show where you just can't get it, you know, where you love the costume you're in, you love the moment? <laughs> well, <laughs> the obvious one is uh, when I sing the title song. That would I mean, be it. Yeah. That's not bad. Right. Um, you know, in the <laughs> one of the most beautiful dresses I've ever worn on stage. Um, where I'm singing this gorgeous song. Um, so obviously that one. Um, <laughs> so are you Christine in that moment? I'm both. Yeah. I mean, I'm never, I mean, of course, I put on the skin that is Christine Daae every mm -hmm. day, but I'm, I'm nearly what you would call method actor in the mm -hmm. sense of the pain that I feel every day, oh, that's mine. Uh -huh. And yes, I, I, what's fascinating being on tour is Christine Daae, you know, 10 months, we're, we're about month 10, I've evolved, she has evolved oh. throughout these 10 months like any human. So it's a combination, but indeed, like I weep on stage every day. Oh and I don't gosh. know if there's something wrong with me that I can do. No, 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 I mean, you're great. <laughs> Megan Pacerno, you gotta go and see her in this. Uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber's Love Never Dies. He thinks it's one of his greatest masterpieces and you gotta hear Megan in the title role of Christine. It's on stage now at Shays through June 10th don't you miss it. Shays.org, Ticketmaster.com. Go and see Megan Pacerno. Bye-bye.